tell a story with no words. I think that's what really interests me about classical music is the journey that it takes you on. Black Bob, born Charles Wilson III in Detroit, started playing the piano at just four years old. After years of study, not to mention a family of musicians behind him, he was soon playing in local jazz clubs and lounges. My first piano uh, cost my parents a hundred bucks and my dad got some black paint and he painted it all up and we got it tuned. It was enough for me to, you know, learn and uh, become professional. I understand your mom had a certain way of helping you keep rhythm. Yeah. She would chop vegetables. <laughs> really? <laughs> be, yeah. When I would practice, she would bring whatever she was cooking into <laughs> the piano room and she would sit there and she... All that practice paid off. Along the way, Bach fell in love with classical music and that fuels his drive to change any preconceived notions about who should have a relationship to him. How did you come up with the name Black Bach? I went into my cultural roots, which mm -hmm. are in hip-hop, and I decided, well, why not a rap name? Even though you're doing classical Even music? Even though I'm doing classical music, yeah. Also, it's a, um, it's a tribute to Johann Sebastian Bach, who was a disruptor for his time. He was uh, creating music that people didn't understand, but then when they did understand it, it was, wow, this is brilliant. Are you a disruptor? I would like to think so. Um, How so? People don't normally listen to classical music. I would love to be the entrance ramp for more people. When you're listening to popular music, do you hear the classical parts of it? It's still the same harmonic structure, it's still the melodic structure. It's just a different version of it. Bach now has something to say with what he describes as a neoclassical sound that's all his own on Black Book Deluxe. My album is inspired by the movie Green Book, which is the story of Don Shirley and his trailblazing spirit to go to the South, the Deep South, at a time where it wasn't safe, but to bring music there. What are you trying to convey with these songs? These songs are reflections of where we are. Mm -hmm. As a society, they're also reflections of things and experiences that I've had myself. Bach gave me a sampling of his compositions created during the pandemic lockdown, starting with The Hustle is Real. So what's the inspiration for that? If you walk out in the street in New York City, that's what it feels like. It feels like people moving. Now, a completely obviously different tone and, and, and message, George, George Floyd and, and the struggle for equality. I want to present a sense of hope. You know, like, let's be hopeful that tomorrow this doesn't happen again. Where do you want to go from here? I just want more people to be able to enjoy this music and to understand that, you know, classical music is for everyone. It is not just for, for uh, one group of people, it's mm -hmm. for everyone. Such a talented young man. Wow. Yeah. Beautiful. So relaxing and peaceful. Really wow. I just beautiful. love the idea that he's making classical music more approachable, mm -hmm. not a genre that you would think that You even said, Chanel, like, you would listen to I would that. love you know to Check him out on Spotify. That, absolutely. In the full range. Yeah. You know absolutely. what I mean? From hip-hop to classic. In fact, he, he listens to everything from hip-hop to Celtic music. Oh, there you go. Uh, his album, Black Book Deluxe, is available on Spotify, Amazon, all your other major retailers. I love it. And a shout-out to Shemaine Pelzer, who produced that spot. That was great. Well, he has a new fan in me, that's for sure. Generation now. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.